Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm about to do a bonus read for the sign of Sagittarius. For 2020. This is a bonus read because of Sagittarius kind of one with Capricorn. They're a numerous tie right now. I usually wait till like Sunday to figure out, but it's six days in, so I'm gonna just get both a reading. I'm basically going to do a love read and some oracle for a bonus. And if I have to clarify it with something, I'll go ahead and do so. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for 2020. This is a bonus read for the most views and likes on my YouTube platform. My, um... Likes and views, well, no, not my views, but my likes, and I think my views, or some views is private. I thought my page was restricted, restricted, sorry, I can't talk. Mercury retrograde is messing with everything, because I feel so tired, I'm about to go back to sleep. But, um, I got comments off as well. I know people say it's better to have them on so you can hear different situations of how people think but i go on my platform on my i log in and i read certain comments so i read all the comments i read all the likes so i haven't had any negative comments when i first started i had a couple negative things but i know they was from people from my hood because they miserable miserable raggly people uh so with that that's why they stuck where they stuck at. So that didn't bother me. So I already kind of knew where that came from. Because I started my platform on Facebook. And that's why I had to like kind of take people off. Because like I know how a lot of people grow up. And they still be friends with people they grew up with. But me, I don't like kind of. Because I moved from Philly to Jersey. And I don't really fuck with Jersey like that no more. Like that's why I don't know about moving over there. I just, I look at Camden. Like, it's like a, a big bag of frauds and cops and molesters and liars and haters. That's how I look at it. When I go through there, I go through there and I'm permitted to carry, even though they say, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm not coming over there um, empty because I don't like nobody over there at all, literally. Like, I keep that shit real. I don't. Even some of my family members, I don't mess with they, they snakes. So... With that being said, I'm going to do a general love read, and I'm going to see what's going on for the sign Sagittarius for the bonus read, because I'm getting ready for Blue Moon on Halloween, basically. I just ordered some new cards for just that day, and I got new cards here as well. So, I'm just going to catch up on some readings, and then I'm going to go from there. And then for November, I'm going to be doing a lot of readings with my Blue Moon cards, and um my other new tarot cards so without any further delay you oh come right out from the gate this is for my sign of sagittarius past present and future and it's not going to resonate for every Sagittarius, but it'll resonate for some. The first card that came out was reverse is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So maybe in the past you may was with somebody that um you came out of holiday bliss. You came out of joy with. Like somebody from your past, basically it wasn't the honeymoon phase no more. Bottom line, that's how I could literally call that one. Um, your present energy says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership This is for my Sagittarius. It's saying you with somebody. It says work on your relationship and make it stronger You also have for the future. It was reversed. You have keep an open mind Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations You have this reverse. So basically you're not keeping an open mind because maybe you already know you with your soulmate or with your partner that you're supposed to be with. So you're not really, you know, open, keeping an open mind that your soulmate may be different because maybe you feel as though this person is your soulmate. So there's no need to keep your mind open. It could go both ways. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a love oracle. Sorry, an angel and whispers. <clears throat> Give me a second. I got to take a sip of water. You. I'm gonna take uh, whispers, angel whispers, and see what they gotta say about your um love reading for 2020. What you looking forward to, or what they may have to say. 
And then I'm going to take an angel, God. And then I'm going to end your reading. Universe, spirit, mm. Universe, spirit, guide. Okay, one card come out for my Sagittarius. The card that come out say, you are being of the universe. Feel the connection. You're never alone. This is remind me of something with the Illuminati um sayings. But it said you never are alone. And you are you and you're a being of the universe that feel the connection. So you gotta feel maybe the angels that surround you, maybe in this loving connection that you with in your present moment, is what I say. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get an angel guide and see what the angel guide maybe wanna say. Just think of whatever question you wanna ask, and um I'm gonna pull an angel guide. Which is these cards. And go from there. I'm going to read it out the book. If I don't know the answer. Properly. Because I don't really want to be saying shit off my head. That's why it's a book with certain cards. My cards usually pretty shuffle. But I just always shuffle on and off camera. That's just what I do. Universe, spirit, guy, holy angels, please tell Sagittarius. Oh. Well, two cards popped out on top of you, each other. It says you ready. So basically, you ready. You ready to move to the next level. Maybe a next level of commitment or a le next level of some type of situation. But it's saying you ready. But then it says get more information. So you may need more information before you move forward in a relationship. Maybe you need to just sit down and sort things out more better. And it might not be like more information far as um, anything. And, and then you got open mind that you're not keeping an open mind because you found your soulmate. But at the end of the day... The the way you find your soulmate, it comes from the divine. Like, and I'm I'm wanna say that because I be thinking this person is the one. I'm telling you, and it don't be. So you gotta just say it says have an open mind, but you're ready, but you still need a little bit more information. So with that being said, I'm not gonna open a book. I'm just gonna say like get more information, make maybe get more information about the situation, or wait, let the divine lead you to the next step. Even though you're ready, you still need more information. That's what it's saying. So, since it's saying get more information, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open a book for you. So, we could just go straight off what the book said. It says, the situation you're asking about requires more information in order for you to make a wise decision. Approach those knowledgeable about the topic to solicit their advice. If there are friends or family members in your midst who have insight into the matter, ask for their opposite. Mm, ob mm, observations <laughs> observations say you retrograde or something you may need to do some analytical research in order to get the data you need this could include reading books ta taking classes or seminars or gathering information from the internet so you might need orf more information and it might not have nothing to do with your love life it might be with something that you want to know but like i said ask a question and then i'm giving you the answer so whatever you just ask in your head this is the answer it's telling you need more information, but you are ready to soar. So I'm going to go to you're ready. And I'm going to tell you what it says as far as that situation is concerned. It says, all your past experiences have led to this moment. You're studying and grown in spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you're meant to be. The world is anxiously awaiting the contribulations that's following your life purpose will provide. You may have to put yourself first in this situation. It's time to do what is right for you. So it's saying you ready and that's your ready. It's saying you got to do what you got to do for you. And you need more information on the situation before you go ahead and move forward. Could be a relationship, could be a job, could be a friendship, could be a new opportunity. So right there, I'm and you're reading um, Sagittarius of 2020. This was a bonus love read for the most views. Um, that I'm going to start giving out, which I've been giving out. And Sagittarius, is, you and Capricorn is at the tie at the moment. So this is your read and peace, light, and blessings to all.